Hola, buenas tardes. Yo soy Kevin. Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to work on uh, Epson C88 Plus again. It's a pretty clean printer. However, when I start it, I got this. We got uh, both lights blinking, and uh, the cap station look like looks like an auto place. Uh, do you see that thing restop in the middle? Let me show you a working one. The working one, if you move the whole thing to the right, the lock going to restop, and uh, you press it down, the uh, cap station will going to slide back. I'll put a link to how to remove the outside casing above. One side of this uh, clear cover is taped on the uh, printer, and uh, another part is taped on the cap station. To remove this, uh, there are two guides. One is here. The guide that just helps you determine if the cap station is installed at the correct place. And uh, another one is here. And there's a tab to secure it. Push the tab towards uh, me or towards your lower right, and uh, the whole cap station is going to come out. Oh, by the way, this is not the original cap station. The one that we need to fix, I already removed it. So I'm just removing this good one to show you how to remove it. Notice this good one has a spring here. Uh, actually, this spring is the one that I'm missing from the bad one. Here's the good one from the bottom. You can see the, the spring on the right on your right. This spring connects to the top of the uh, cap station and uh, pull the lever down. Now I'm looking from the top. Here's how the spring should be connected. The bad one has this spring missing. That's why the top lever is always up. I don't have exactly spring right now, but I am going to show you a spring that's going to work. I'll put a link to that spring in the description of this video. Just expand the description and uh, going to link to that spring. That spring is a little bit longer. I have a better spring back in order, so you just uh, follow the description and uh, get the link to the spring. So you just take uh, the top of a couple millimeters out of uh, uh, out of the spring and measure the coil, uh, the coil section. The coil section should be about 10 millimeters. And then make a new loop. You can use a pair of scissors to cut off excessive wear. The total length should be from 15 millimeter to 18 millimeter. You don't want to be too long, and uh, it's okay to be a little bit short. I already use a long nose uh, pliers. Uh, just drop it on the notch on the top and uh, use my finger to hold it and flip over and then pull it up and uh, then put on the tab on the bottom and uh, give it a little test make sure it can move back to, in, uh, to install remember the two guys I told you earlier just line them up and push straight down uh, let's give a spring and uh, before we put everything back. We only get one right light, that's good. Uh, just the uh, cartridge light is on because we don't have cartridge yet. Okay, let's put everything back and then install the cartridges. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at uh, www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. Hello, mortals. Your printer is saved. Kevin's YouTube channel is the answer to your prayers.